Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back to our channel, The Shirky Trippers. Today is going to be an amazing day with our Jumma Salah and a community iftar. So continue watching to see all of that. Assalamualaikum everybody and I am back with day 5 du'a. So let's check it out. Day 5. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al-dhalimin There is no deity except you exalted are you indeed I have been of the wrongdoers Now let's revise our past four duas So hope you guys remember those or if you don't then that's going to be bad Day 1 Ya Hayu Ya Qayyum Bi Rahmatika Astaghis Day 2 Rabbana Atina Fid Dunya Hasnata Wa Fil Akhirati Hasnata Wa Qina Azaab Al-Nar Day 3 Allahumma Inni As'aluka Al-Huda Wa Tuqa Wa Al-Afaf Wa Al-Ghina Day 4 Rabbana La Tuzih Qulubana Ba'da Iz Hadaytana Wa Hab Lana Min Ladunka Rahma Innaka Anta Al Wahhab And this was today's one Okay So Because we are all reading the things that's going to be Rahmat Because these 10 days are the days of Rahmat So You have to ask so much to Allah That Allah please give us Rahmat Rahmat the people in Palestine and Gaza who asked Allah for every time. Allah, please give them rahmat. Allah, please give them rahmat. After iftar, after suhoor, after taraweeh, in tahajjud, wake up in tahajjud. And even after, after praying every salah. And make dua for those people who have passed away that they will get jannatul for those. For all the ummah of Muhammad. So now let's go for a sunnah a day. So today is day five. In this one it says admit and own up to mistakes. When you're fighting and anything you're doing and you don't admit your you know it's your mistake but you don't admit it, it's not good. Even though if it's not your mistake, just admit it because it's a sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad And if you follow one sunnah of him, you'll get the reward of 100 martyrs. Or if it's Ramadan, then just get. Five by 70, just think how much you'll get. Even if you're sitting and you're just drinking and saying Bismillah. Two times, 70. Going back to the point, you have to admit your own mistakes so you can soften the other person's heart. That's it for today. So over here, we were leaving for the community iftar in the HICC mosque. And you guys can see the greenery. All the trees are leafless, but it's pretty green still. And over here, we had the Halton Waste Management site. As you guys can see, even in the waste management area, uh, like the garbage area and stuff, they keep everything super green and covered with trees uh, to lower the pollution risks. And you guys can see our entire road. It's filled with greenery and stuff. And here we had entered uh, the mosque uh, parking lot. Also, you guys could see in the car Abdullah was reading a book. We will share more details about that later on in this video. And over here, you guys can see the sheikh over here is having a small halqa when we were going down. And when we reached there, mashallah, the dastarkhans were already on the floor. And we also got a little bit of our food served like half an hour before the azan, so they won't have to rush before right when the azan is about to end, like when the iftar is about to start, so they can focus on making duas and stuff. So this was the food. <laughs> Over here, you guys can see how Ibrahim nicely enjoys in so much crowd. And we were sitting right next to him. 
So this video is right before Tarawih had started. They had divided up the kids section and the grown-up section so they could focus more. And that's it. This is the book which I was reading in the car. Muhammad, I was super real superhero. In, in the masjid, a grandma a grandma gave us and she said that I have two of them you can take one of the books so you can give it to when you once you're done reading it you can give it to somebody else to read it it's about the Muhammad and since he was born and when he died you can see so it's the first it. and only graphic novel on the seed of Prophet Muhammad wasallam. so it says what the about the story of the elephant to when he was born you guys can see all he all the the battles that they fought and all the miracles that happened and they don't really show the face of course, of course. And how they got the salah and how did and, Jibra, Jibra, and his angels helped them and until his death and what happened everything Even in death. detail his entire story is there so this is a really great book and I would really recommend if they have you guys have small children to get this book it's written from Allah Allah Muni whatever that is. You can see it's it. okay. That's it. Bye bye. <laughs>